Hey guys, <clears throat> I uh, took the PT Cruiser in for uh, certification and emissions test today, and uh, the only, it passed the emissions test. And the only thing it needs for certification is a one brake pad or one brake shoe on the rear. So um, so the front is all uh, a okay, I guess, because it passed. But, um, <clears throat> what's going on with this though? Cassette deck. I know, I know it's an old, like, 2001, but, uh, cassette deck. I'm not really down with that. And, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna see if we can change that. So I've got, uh, I've got a used stereo. And I've already, uh, yeah, I know, it's got some marks on it. But anyway, I think it works. Um, I've already bought the Chrysler wiring harness kit, which uh, it's all color matched. Purple, purple, white, white, gray, gray, yellow, yellow, red, red. It's all color matched, and uh, <clears throat> it just plugs right into your harness, so you don't have to cut your car harness up or anything like that. You, you can get those at, like, Walmart or Canadian Tire. So I got the harness plug-in, and I got the Chrysler face plate because it's a round stereo. So I got the Chrysler face plate stereo. And that's all that's all I'm going for today. <clears throat> so uh in order to take the stereo out, you gotta take this bezel off here. And uh there's my Smith and Wesson knife because I don't have a flat screwdriver. I did bring a Phillips screwdriver, but anyway, um so in order to get that bezel off, you need to remove this uh the power uh, power window switch, the master switch, and these knobs. So I set everything in the middle. I set that in the mid center. Set that in the center. Set that in the center. And this one off to the right, it's because when you put them back on, they all have to go on the same way. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is remove this here. I should be using a screwdriver. So it just clips in, you get the bottom clip out, and uh, the top will follow suit. And then uh, <clears throat> that red thing is a lock, you want to unlock it. There's a button right here, push it. And uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. You're not supposed to reef on the wires. You're not supposed to pull on the wire harness. But anyway, there's the master switch. <clears throat> Looks like there's a Phillips screw right here. Take that out with one hand while I do my camera work. Thank the Lord for cup holders. <clears throat> now I'm going to tuck that in out of the way a little bit pull this off pull this off try to keep them in order a little bit pull this off pull this off alright <clears throat> excuse me I got a frog in my throat <clears> throat> And so the master switch is gone, the knobs are gone. So now the only thing holding this front face plate is just um, it's just popped in with these spring clips. So I'm just going to pull it off. I don't know if I can do this with my camera in my hand. Maybe I'll use my knife again. Maybe I won't use my knife. Well, I might have to set the camera down for a minute. If I can't get it to pop out. Oh, <clears throat> never mind. <laughs> so you got the vents there, the vent ducts there. 
where your heat comes through, <clears throat> and some spring clips, and yeah. <clears throat> There's your stereo. Now you can access the four screws that holds it in. In my case, it's three screws apparently. Because I lost a screw. <laughs> I've had this apart before, so. So I could check, the, I had this apart uh, last week, so I could check the harness, the wiring harness on it. Because tape decks, cassette decks, <clears throat> they were cool in like the 80s and 90s. And, uh, that time has passed. <laughs> so, uh, so now, <clears throat> now this stereo is loose, but it feels like the harness is hung up in there somewhere. Oh, there we go. So you, this one has, uh, four plugs, which is kind of crazy. You got the antenna. Uh, I don't know what that one is. <clears throat> and then you got your uh, audio and power. So let's unplug this stuff here. The antenna just pulls right out. <clears throat> this one here. That one there pulls out with a little dog clip. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. My throat is really frogged up here. There's two, uh, these two have clips on them, if you can release the clip. I'm somehow, somehow I'm doing this with one hand, but, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait, uh, I lied, there's one more down there. That's a ground negative. There she goes. <clears throat> So, out with the old and in with the new. First thing I'm going to do is uh, put the key in the ignition. I'm not turning the key on. I'm just putting the key in there. I'm going to plug the radio in and test it. Before I go through all the work of putting everything back together, I'm going to test it out because it's a used radio. It's got some marks on it. But So, let's plug it in here. Let's see if I can get her plugged in here. With one hand. So you got the gray plug and the black plug. This big one here, I won't be using it. That's for uh, different Chrysler products. Actually, that big plug, it, it would fit my uh, truck. My Dakota. I gotta tell you though, doing this with one hand... It's not really fun. I prefer to use both hands. So I don't have the radio antenna plugged in. I just have the power wires plugged in. I turn the key on just so I can test the stereo to see if it works. I might have to do something about this ground wire here. I don't know if it'll work or not. Let's see what buttons do we got here. Is there a source button? The off button? Uh. Keys on. I don't know. Well, it seems to me... <clears throat> wow. It seems to me that I've had this... Uh, I've tested this radio and it works. So... I'm going to check this ground wire here, this independent ground wire. I might have to hook it up to the harness.
because I'm not getting any action here at all. Which is kind of disappointing, but uh, I'm going to make a part two because uh, I need to do some, I need to check that, and I can't do that with one hand. And I know this, <clears throat> I know for a fact the radio works because I've tested it. So I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to make a part two. <clears throat> and hopefully my throat is better by then. So I'll talk to you soon. Check out for part two. Look out for part two. And click the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Alright guys. Um, I went and got a couple of these. And uh, one insulated one, which had a plastic or all the way around it. So, uh, if you look at the back of the stereo, these two prongs here, that's what the ground wire uh, was attached to. And uh, let me hold one of these up here. These are basically the same. <clears throat> so, I don't know what they're called. I call them like old speaker connectors because that's what the old speakers have on them. But. It's a, just a flat terminal connector, and uh, these ones here crimp. They crimp onto your wire. There's different sizes, like red is a smaller size and blue is a medium size. So what I did was I took a blue one, it was insulated, and I put it onto, if you watched part one, I put it onto, there's an independent ground wire. I don't know why. Uh, most of them are built into the harness, but... So I had to take that independent ground wire and build it into my harness. So I did that and uh, I got the key turned on here. And we're going to push a button. Bleep. Oh look. Static. I think right here is the static. And I plugged in the antenna, so let's see uh, if we can find a radio station. I don't even know how to work how to work this. Alright guys, <clears throat> um, I had to delete some videos and make some room, and I don't know if you saw it or not, uh, but uh, there was an independent ground wire on the radio, so I hooked that up, and uh, now she's all alive. Oh, and I decided to go get a CD out of my truck. These guys are from uh, Ontario. They're from uh, Hamilton, Ontario. And uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good band. Good music. So I decided to test out the CD player. It says Monster Truck right on there. You know what I need to figure out? <clears throat> I need to figure out how to adjust the bass and treble and everything else. Why is the focus so horrible on this iPhone? Anyway. Flip face. Oh, the lights are blue, which is kind of cool because it's a blue vehicle with blue bezels and stuff. I was going to, I've got color matching paint, which I used on the fender. I was going to paint this bezel here, but I was kind of in a hurry today and just getting dark and cold. So I just decided just to install it just like that. These parts need to be cleaned up. Like the bezel and the stereo both need to be cleaned up because they're both used, previously enjoyed. So, um, uh, 
auxiliary, Bluetooth, telephone, radio. So the antenna is plugged in and working. Everything's good to go. So, uh, <clears throat> remember this thing? I don't know if you watched the other video or not, but, uh, let's put her back together, boys. Because that doesn't look right. So, that goes there. I'm going to take this wire before I snap it into place and make sure it's not, make sure it's not in the way. So... I've got her sitting in place there now. Let's see if we can snap it in. All right. Well, that looks a little better. I got a boo boo. I heard it myself. I don't know what I did, but it feels like I just stabbed myself. Okay. Let's do these next. Remember the way you took them off and put them on the same way. I'm gonna keep an eye on my dog and make sure he's around. All right, I've been doing a lot of stuff with one hand because I'm holding the camera with my left hand, but I don't know if I can do this or not. Plug this in here. Oh, he does it. Okay, I got it plugged in. See if I can do the lock deal here on this red tang here. Eh, we're in lock position. Snap in the top first, and then the bottom. Test out the windows. Alright. Well, that was a fun project. No more tape deck. Might keep that just for the next, I don't know. Maybe I should just throw it in the pile. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> there was something else I was going to bring up, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, I'm pretty much done with this project now. I got it, uh, I got it, um, emissions tested today. And I got it certified, but it needs uh, it needs one brake part put on uh, a rear brake shoe. And once I put that on, it's gonna go right through the certification. I'll probably do that tomorrow. So it'll probably be certified tomorrow, and it's already emissions tested. So it's pretty much ready for the road. I'm pretty much done with the project for now. Someday it might get something, it might get speakers and or maybe a bigger set of rims, but uh, that's about it for now. 
it's got a couple scratches still on the outside. Oh, one reason why I waited. One reason why I waited uh, till it was darker out. It's getting darker out. One reason why I waited. I had to delete some videos, but I wanted to show you this. Here, you, this came with the vehicle. Is that cool? But, what does it go to? It goes to this thing. Off, on. And now, I had a Dodge Neon. And I installed blue ones under both under both sides on my Dodge Neon, but I wired it into a switch. This is this plugs into the cigarette lighter, but it's pretty much the same setup. So at nighttime, <clears throat> you uh, if you don't want if you want to turn off your interior light, or if you just want some ambience, or you're gonna go parking with your uh, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know, but if you want to turn on the the blue neon there there's blue neon pretty funky and it's not even really that dark out yet so when it gets dark with the blue vehicle and the blue neon the blue on the radio I think it's turning out pretty cool anyway um, if I do any more project updates like the rims or maybe scratch if I change the front bumper if I do anything about the scratches I'll do an update video and uh, I'll let you guys know oh look at him he's right outside there aren't you Ryder yeah you're right outside there you're always close to me aren't you oh yeah look at that you got gravel in your beard. Alright guys. That's it for this project for now. And uh, yeah. Talk to you next time.